The original idea behind cryptocurrencies included decentralization as a major component. This required a method of transaction confirmation independent of financial institutions. And this is where proof of work originated as a response to this problem. Proof of work is used to secure the integrity of new data on the decentralized networks used by cryptocurrencies and other DeFi apps. But this much information is not enough. So here I am to take you through this new video of Simply Learn on proof of work that will give you all the necessary and interesting information to understand this concept in depth. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. First, let's have a quick look at the topics that we're gonna cover in this video. First, we will understand blockchain's consensus method. Following that, we will understand what proof of work is in detail. Moving on, we will explore how proof-of-work and mining work together, followed by an example of proof-of-work functioning. Then we will look into some of the pros and cons of proof-of-work, after which we will have a crisp comparison between proof-of-work and proof-of-stake. Then we will come across cryptocurrencies using proof-of-work. And finally, we will see what criticism it's facing nowadays. So let's begin our journey through this video. But before that, do like this video and hit the bell icon never to miss an update from Simply Learn. So first, we will understand blockchain's consensus method. The foundation and integrity of all cryptocurrency blockchains are consensus mechanisms. Before delving into the various consensus processes, we must first define what it means for blockchains to reach consensus. A collection of peers, or nodes, in a network decides which blockchain transactions are valid and which are not through a consensus process. Methodologies that foster consensus are employed to realize this accord. These guidelines aid in guarding networks against bad behavior and hacker attacks. Depending on the blockchain and its use, numerous distinct kinds of consensus processes exist. And while they vary in energy consumption, security, and scalability, they all serve the same function of ensuring that records are accurate and truthful. And proof of work is one of the most used consensus mechanisms. But this raises the question of what proof of work is. So proof of work, or POW, refers to a mechanism that discourages pointless or harmful uses of computing resources, such as altering any data stored in the blockchain network by requiring a not insignificant but doable amount of effort. Though there are several scaling difficulties, it is usually considered to be the most dependable and safe of all the consensus systems. In POW, users compete against one another to use powerful computers to solve extremely difficult computational puzzles, and this process is known as mining. The first person to generate the 64-digit hash gains the privilege of creating a new block, validating transactions, and earning a fixed sum of cryptocurrency, referred to as a block reward. Let's understand the concept of proof of work and mining in detail. Consider there are two friends, Sarah and Ian, who have a conventional bank account in a bank. Sarah was supposed to pay Ian her share of $100 for a party, so she gives him a check for $100. Once the check is deposited in the bank, Sarah starts wondering if the exact amount in the check will only get debited from her account or if some extra charges will be there. And Ian, on the other side, is also wondering if the exact $100 will be credited to his account or if there will be hidden charges. Both parties involved in the transaction must have faith in the bank to transfer money correctly for the bank to be considered valuable. There are no financial institutions or bankers to guarantee trust in cryptocurrencies. Rather, using miners and proof of work ensures accurate and transparent transactions. Miners are the stewards and facilitators that keep the system secure and correct for blockchains that employ proof of work. Now, the proof of work mechanism necessitates miners' use of computational power in exchange for the right to mine. Here's how it works. Step one is grouping new transactions together. In this step, users purchase and sell cryptocurrencies, and the information resulting from these transactions is combined into a block. Then comes step two. In this, crypto miners compete to be the first to solve a difficult mathematical problem. 
Then the miner earns the privilege to execute the block of transactions by providing evidence that they have performed the computing work, known as a hash. And then comes step three, in which one miner is chosen to add the new block. Whoever gets the opportunity to process the block is chosen at random to some extent. And then the winner receives brand new crypto coins and creates a new blockchain block. There are challenging issues that call for a lot of computational effort. Because miners have spent a lot of money on the necessary computer hardware and energy, they are incentivized to authenticate transactions precisely. Let's have a look at an example of this consensus method. A computer must randomly perform hashing operations until it generates an output with the required minimum number of leading zeros to provide proof of work. For example, the hash for block number 123456, mined on August 6, 2022, is... And the block reward for that successful hash was 6.25 BTC. That block will always have the header of the previous block and 745 transactions, totaling slightly over 1,666 bitcoins. The generated hash would be unrecognizable if someone attempted to alter a transaction amount by even one crypto coin, and the network would reject the fraud attempt completely. Now that we know the complete mechanism behind proof of work and its working, let's look at some of its pros and cons. First, proof of work has no bias. Block incentives let you move from having no crypto to having a positive balance, and you can start without any crypto at all. But proof of work is harmful to the environment because it consumes a lot of energy. Second, Proof of work is a tested consensus method that has long maintained the security and decentralization of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Still, mine-related equipment is so sophisticated that it requires a significant initial investment. Third, it is more straightforward to implement than proof of stake. But as computational requirements rise, mining pools may come to dominate the industry, posing problems of centralization and security. Now that we know its strengths and weaknesses, let's compare it with today's tough competition of proof of work, which is proof of stake. At its core, proof of stake and proof of work seek to secure consensus within the decentralized network. However, there are some variations in the personnel and method. First, proof of stake is more scalable than proof of work since it requires significantly less computational power. Proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies are more ecologically friendly since they possess transactions more quickly for lower costs and with less energy. Second, the blockchain is updated using both techniques after validating incoming transactions. In proof-of-stake, network users are referred to as validators rather than miners. The fact that validators lock up specific quantities of cryptocurrency, their stake, in a smart contract on the blockchain rather than solving mathematical equations is a significant distinction as proof of work does. Third, from a security standpoint, proof of work is more established. Parties with significant crypto holdings might have too much authority, which is a potential issue with proof of stake, but not with proof of work. So now that we have covered all the necessary details about proof of work, let's look at some of the top cryptos that use this mechanism. Bitcoin. In 2009, the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was introduced. It established the idea of proof of work in cryptocurrencies, which numerous other coins would subsequently embrace. Next is Bitcoin Cash. A cryptocurrency called Bitcoin Cash is a fork of the original Bitcoin. A spin off or alternative cryptocurrency called Bitcoin Cash was developed in 2017. Next is Monero. The cryptocurrency Monero is decentralized. It obfuscates transactions using a public distributed ledger and privacy-enhancing technology to achieve fungibility and anonymity. Then we have Litecoin. One of the first alternative currencies to Bitcoin, or altcoins, was Litecoin. It was introduced in 2011 and provided faster transaction speeds thanks to its use of the Bitcoin source code. And finally, we have Dogecoin, based on the Doge meme. Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency introduced in 2013. Despite its lighthearted beginning, it would eventually develop a devoted fan base. With time, proof of work has also faced some challenges and criticism for its outdated mechanism, which are the most pointed out ones energy consumption. 
The New York Times claims that in 2009, one Bitcoin could be mined with a standard desktop computer and very little electricity. But to mine one Bitcoin in today's era, one would have needed to utilize as much electricity as a typical American home would in nine years. Centralization Decentralization is one of the key benefits that attract crypto investors. However, because of the high computational and energy requirements of proof of work, mining operations have been concentrated in a select few large companies, and this might lead to a few companies controlling most of the cryptocurrency business. Well, this was all about proof of work, and this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Simply Learn, for more interesting videos like this. If you have any questions regarding the video, please feel free to ask away in our comment section. Our team will reach out to you as soon as possible. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.